What's up guys and welcome to the fourth episode of the Ultimate Eleven series. Now if you guys are interested in purchasing any FIFA 14 coins, go and check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. They're a very fast and reliable source to buy your coins from. All the links will be down in the description below and you can get an extra 5% off using the discount code JACK54HD. So without further ado, let's get on with this video and also there's a new timetable. I didn't put it in yesterday's video because I hadn't quite finished it. Um, but basically, every single day this week, there's going to be an Ultimate Eleven episode at 6pm. And then after that, two and a half hours later, at 8.30pm, there is going to be a 7-minute squad builder. So every single day this week, you're going to get a 7-minute squad builder and also an Ultimate Eleven series. Come back onto my channel tomorrow at 6pm and you'll see another Ultimate Eleven series uh, episode. Um, and later as well, at 8.30pm, there's going to be a 7-minute squad builder, um, which will be episode... 78 I believe or 77, 79, one of them. It, it's getting on a bit now, you know, I've, I've lost the, I've lost count of how many I've made. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the squad then. Today's episode is going to be featuring the League Earn, so it's a pretty nice squad that, to, that we can build. So in goal, let me just change it to League Earn. In goal we have got Sirigu, a fabulous goalkeeper in this game. Two centre-backs are going to be Thiago Silva and also Nkulu, the two of the more pacey centre-backs. Uh, of the league and uh, centre-backs and you know they them two really do uh, do some work in the centre-back role. Right back then we have picked up Mariano because he is the paciest right back uh, in the league earn and I was going to go with Fanny but I just you know I, I kind of like this guy on FIFA I think he's a very good player. Left back we have got Maxwell it's kind of um, a bit of a hard decision between him and Digne as well um, but I went with Maxwell because I feel like his defending stats um, do him some justice on the pitch as well. So, let's move on to the centre mids then. We have got, of course, João Moutinho in the first centre mid spot. The next centre mid spot is going to be Matuidi. Fabulous centre mid. Um, he is more of kind of the defensive player, but he can attack as well and score goals. You will have seen that in my, uh, I think also my 7 at squad series a couple of, couple of episodes ago. So, centre mid as well, João Moutinho, complete playmaker. Um, incredible player in this game as well. Left midfield then, we have got Lavezzi, a great player to have on the wing, amazing pace, four-star skimmers and four-star weak foot, as you can see there. Right midfield, there's only one player to put in this spot, and it is going to be Lucas, an incredibly fast and pacey player in this game. Um, great dribbling as well, 88 dribbling, which makes his pace even, you know, stand out even more as well, because he can get in between players, uh, you know, just like that, basically. Anyway, moving on to the two strikers then, um, you know, there's three strikers that I could have picked, but I've picked the two highly... Highest rated ones. I've gone with Falcao and also the one, the only Ibrahimovic. Cannot wait to play with him. Um, I've used him once before for an ultimate 11, no, for a 7 at score builder. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me use Zlatan Ibrahimovic for a 7 at score builder. Um, later tonight, actually, yeah, that's what I could do. I could use Zlatan for a 7 at score builder later tonight. I think that sounds pretty good to me. Um, but yeah. That is going to be the squad guys, we're going to go into some gameplay now, I'm not going to play a live game, I'm going to play about three games and then you know the best player out of them team, of that this team, I'll show them some highlights with um, and then they'll be put into my ultimate 11 along with a wild card and you'll see that very shortly. So, let's move into the gameplay. Okay guys, so let's move on to the gameplay side of things now, these were from three games that I actually played. Um, as you can see, Ibrahimovic is literally a tank on this game. I've only used him a couple of times before, but to see him like this, it's, you know, it, it is amazing. He just pushes so many players off the ball. Um, one thing that I did find with this team was Levetsi wasn't great at all. Uh, his pace kind of lacked, but it was kind of different to how Lucas played. Lucas was very pacey. Um, he was quite strong on the ball as well. He sometimes had a good delivery. You'll see when he doesn't have a good delivery, I do throw in a few clips of uh, a few of the games where he doesn't really not have that much of a good delivery from the wing, um, which is kind of vital for a winger. But, you know, nevertheless, he does play pretty well. That Ibrahimovic goal there was, you know, very nice indeed, of course. Um, and this is some build-up play to our second goal uh, for this first match. As you can see here, Falcao just does gives a little dink ball to João Moutinho who just lobs it over the goalkeeper, a very nice uh, goal there and then look, that is just, you know, Ibrahimovic, so he brings something out of nothing basically, um, but all in all, I was impressed with him but I kind of expected more, it, for his price tag, you know, it's kind of like, I, I think if I bought Messi or Ronaldo for that kind of money, I would be getting someone maybe a, a bit better than what I'm getting at the moment. 
Um, and that kind of did frustrate me a little bit. But as I saw there, lovely ball in from the wing. I think that was Lucas. And then Matuidi with a brilliant header uh, into the back of the net to make it, I think it was 1-1 one -one or something. Falcao here, look at this. This is what we know him for. This acrobatic, oh my God, look at that. Straight into the bottom right hand corner. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, and then Ibrahimovic here as well with a nice little scoop turn. Bang, hits the crossbar. If that had gone in, he would definitely been, you know, more in the way of thinking, you know, maybe I might actually use this guy in my ultimate 11. Um, but it's all to unveil yet. But, you know, Maxwell kind of did have Robin, Robin in his pocket as well. Robin didn't really get past him at all. Um, and these are kind of the deliveries which I'm talking about which weren't that great. But I can't really talk that much about them because, in all honesty, you know, we did do pretty well um, to get where we were. So, let's move on to uh, who I'm going to be choosing for my ultimate 11. Okay guys, so let's get onto the part of the video where I choose my player to put into my ultimate 11 and also the wildcard slot which is free as we speak. So, put in the comment section below now who you think from the team, uh, the league going team that I built I will be putting into my ultimate 11 and who you think I'll be putting in my wildcard slot. So put it in the comment section below right now. So, overview of the team, kind of, you know, the strikers, somewhat disappointing, lacked a lot in pace but the... The one out of the two which I kind of did prefer, it hates me to say it because I did expect a lot of Ibra uh, I did expect a lot from Ibrahimovic, but for me it had to be Falcao purely for the ac acrobatic goal that he scored at the end. Um, that just kind of like tipped me over the edge. You know, that was the the goal that kind of made me think. You know, Falcao I kind of did prefer him, but I you know I can imagine in a different team with maybe some more pacier wingers or another pacier striker. Zlatan would be by far the better striker, but with two slower paced strikers together, for me, I just felt like Falcao did the work a bit better, um, and that is the reason why uh, he is actually going to be in my wildcard slot uh, for my uh, fourth wildcard, there we go, so he's going to be my fourth wildcard, I usually do wildcard at the end, but I thought I might as well switch around for today's episode, so for my actual ultimate 11 spot, we are going to be putting in the right midfielder, Lucas. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, it's not very often you get a winger that, you know, seven, eight, nine, nine times out of ten delivers a good ball into the box. I know there's a few times that did show where he didn't really, you know, give a good delivery, but I felt like, you know, at times it was kind of like my whole team letting me down as well, but I felt like Lucas, he could just run past players. He had a bit of strength to go on and, you know, attack the ball. Um, and he really did do a lot of work in, in helping me score them goals. Um, and I do believe that, you know, in this Ultimate Eleven, Lucas will be a very, very good factor um, to, you know, to use in my team. So that is going to be today's episode done, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below if you got them answers correct. And also let me know in the comment section below, below who you think I should use um, for the next episode. Do you think I should be using the League of BBVA? You know, what league do you guys want me to use? So, thanks for watching, guys. A thousand likes would be amazing. Stay tuned for the 7-Minute School Builder at 8.30pm tonight. And peace.